Hey, <clears throat> good evening, guys and girls. Good evening. How are you? Everything good? Yeah. Everything, everything good. good. All right, guys. All right. No. How's your day today? And what do you do? Very busy in uh, many banks. Very, very busy. Why? I looking for a document in, okay. in banks. Okay. You're looking for documents? In banks, in, in the banks. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That's that's excellent. That's excellent. What about you, Alexander? How was your day? Um, busy with different activities. Uh, I'm tired, but tired, okay. tired, tired, no. <laughs> tired, tired. Yes, there you go. Tired. With ED. With, with ED. In the end. Yes, tired with ED at the end. Yes. Okay. Uh, tired. Tired. No. <laughs> no, no, I'm tired. Tired. Nope. No. <laughs> At no point, I'm not saying it is. I have no idea where you get the uh, tired <laughs> from. That word doesn't exist. It's tired. Uh, tired. We did. Tired. Yes. <laughs> tired. Yes, tired. right. So, yes, tired. it's tired. Tired. Yes, it's tired. Uh, right. Tired. Kind, tired. kind of, kind of, yes. Yes. Right. Very good. Tired. Uh, yes. Tired. There you go. That's tired. that's that's the pronunciation. Yes. Right. So that's the pronunciation. You are one hundred percent. All right. Uh Claudia, yes. welcome, Claudia. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good, 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 good. How was your day today? Pretty tired. I'm so tired right now. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> I think we're all very tired here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, well, anyways, um, thank you. Thank you for joining either way, guys. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Right? All right, guys. So, um, so today, guys, we'll talk about... A simple past and past continuous. Okay, so let me share this with you. Are you seeing the presentation now? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, great, guys. Great. All right. Um. So. Well. Um. Hold on. Not passive voice. Okay. All right, so yes, but anyways, um, so we'll go over, guys, you know, past, past simple and past progressive. Um, and um, let's go over the structure, you know, and examples about that, okay? All right. Um, I want you guys to watch this video, and you're going to tell me a summary of the story that you heard. All right, so let's give it a watch. I don't know if you're seeing the video or not, guys, but here goes nothing. Now, are you able to hear the video or not? No. No. Teacher. no. Man, that's, that's a big problem. I have no idea why not. Okay, let's try again. What about now? You're still not hearing anything? No. No. Mm, no. <laughs> All right. Man, I, I don't know. Mono stereo. Um. Hmm. Uh, 
I don't know. I'll I'll try to. All right, let's 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 move on. I don't know that uh, you're you're supposed to listen to the video and you're not. So bummer. Okay, whatever. So let's move on. Let's go back to. Let's go back to the presentation. Hold on. Oh, we're not gonna be able to do that activity. That's too sad. All right, yeah, so anyways, right? So um so let's um let's take a look at the introduction here. Who would like to help me read? Me. All right, Giselle. Let's go, Giselle. The simple past and the simple past progressive, also past continuous, are used to express action in the past. We use the simple past as the narrative from of the past to express complete sequential actions. We use the past progressive to say what had what was happening at a particular moment in the past. To say the is a thing and into emphasis duration of a past action. And to emphasize. Emphasize the duration of the past action. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So, okay, so we make emphasis, guys, on a past event. Okay, so we talk about we talk about an action that happened in the past and stayed in the past. Okay, so that's what you know. Usually, past progressive in, is for. Okay. All right. So, past continuous or past progressive, right, is used to describe an action that was continuously happened uh, happening sorry in the past all right or we also use it you know to talk about two simultaneous actions right so two actions at the same time in the past or to describe an action that was in progress in the past and got interrupted okay now simple past is used to describe an action that simply, you know, finished in the past, okay? Or we also use it to talk about past habits, all right? Or to talk about things that happened, um, you know, after another action. Or, you know, to describe an action that was interrupted, an action in progress that was interrupted, okay? So that's the difference, the difference between them both. Okay. So what is the structure? All right. For simple past, guys, we have, you know, irregular verbs and we have regular verbs, right? For irregular verbs, we have, for example, I spoke. Why are they called irregular verbs, guys? Who knows this answer? Mm, because the way uh, we can pronunciation or write, the very totally different the uh, way we can pronounce Laura. pronounce uh -huh. the, because the way we can pronounce what the verb uh, ir irregular verb are different all right yeah okay very good very good yes. that that is correct okay because of the way we can pronounce um simple past tenses right like Okay, they follow a rule. Okay, so if it is irregular, you know, if the verb is not following any rule, but if it does follow a rule, then we consider that to be um, regular, right? So I spoke is irregular because it's not following any rule, okay? And I worked is regular because it's following the rule, the EDN, you know, the, the well, the, the a EDN the rules, right? Okay. Now, if we say, for example, past progressive, right? Past progressive, guys, is basically the verb be combined with the ing form of a verb, okay? So, ing, guys, combined with the ing form of a verb. I was speaking, you were speaking, right? ing form. It doesn't matter if it is uh, regular or irregular, right? We're always going to use the ing form of the verb okay so let's take a look at uh, um let's take a look guys at some examples here all right 
So let me get the whiteboard. All right, guys, so you guys tell me, okay? So it's a simple pass, guys. All right, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the structure, right? It's a simple pass, okay? All right, so when we have regular verbs, okay, when we have regular verbs, they will, uh, the regular verbs will be followed Right, will be followed by ed at the end. Okay, when we and this this is talking about the spelling, right? For example, guys, if we say work, right, the past to work would be what? Work it. Not work it. Work. work. Worked. Right. The pronunciation is worked. Right. So it would be worked. Right. If we say sleep, what would be the past of sleep? Slept. All right. So is it regular? Uh, irregular. It is irregular, right? So we have irregular verse. Okay. So that that is hold on. Right. So so that would be irregular verbs, right? So here. That would be slept, right? Now, this is the reason why they're called irregular. So you see here, we're following the ED rule, and here, nothing, right? They don't, like, they doesn't, they don't follow any rule, right? Okay, what other verbs do we have? Uh, what about uh, talk, right? What's the past of talk? Talk. Talked. Talked, right? Very good. What about, uh, what else, what else do we have? Play. So we have playing. playing, right? Which will be? Played. Played, right? Very good. Um, what else do we have? Mm. You guys give me examples. Mm. Study. Study, right? Very good. Which would be studied, right? All right, very good. And then here we have slept. We have, uh, what is the past of fly? Flew. Flew, right? What about, um, what? What else, guys? Went. Okay, so we have went, which is the past of go, right? What else? Uh -huh. Run, right? About, yes, run is run. I mean, run is ran. Right? Uh, uh, what about uh -huh. what? red? What? Red, right? So uh -huh, red. Yes. The same. Uh -huh. What about thought? Thought, right? So we have thought too. So on and so forth, right? Took, right? So we have took, etc. right? So they're like rebels, right? They don't follow any rules. Okay. Okay. So now, how do we, how do we build sentences? Right. So the structure is like this, right? So we have the subject, right? We have the verb in the past, and we have the complement, right? Right, and that's it. So a subject can be. You're one hundred percent right, Cheyenne. Right, Cheyenne is always the subject. <laughs> All right. And then uh, the verb in the past would be, I don't know, tell me, tell me, you know what? Tell me what something eight. you did yesterday. Eight. Hey, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, eight. A lot of All right, now, uh, let's not use pupusas, guys. Let's use something. Pine chuk. Pine chuk is uh, very good, right? That is very good. Eight. Matani. Oh. Uh, a lot of you know fast food. A lot of what? Fast food. All right. Okay. So a lot of okay. Well, he eat. Chen ate fast food. Okay. All right. That's good. Chen ate fast food. Okay. Good job. Great. Um. 
Give me another one, guys. Give me another one. Something that finished in the past. Okay, you know what? Let's talk about you. All right. Um, let's see. Jennifer. Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. You've been quiet tonight. Tell me something that, that you know, tell me an action that you finished yesterday. Something you finished yesterday. Um, Joanna played soccer yesterday. No, 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 no I'm sorry. <laughs> Joanna played soccer. Joanna, well, you can say, right? Joanna played soccer. And it's okay. You can say Joanna played soccer yesterday, right? It's all right, right? So it's an action that finished yesterday, right? So we're following, right? You notice, guys, that we're following the the rules here, right? Now, uh, tell me something, right? Is uh, Is this action finished? Or what about this? Is this action finished? What do you think? Yes. Right. They are finished actions. Okay. So we can conclude that these actions finished yesterday. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about irregular verbs. All right. Actually, let's let's just one of these verbs, guys. How would you use them? Um, the same structure. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. It's the, the same structure, yes. Um, I yesterday I yes, slept right. six hours. Yesterday what? I slept. Yesterday I slept. Not I slept, guys. Slept. Slept. Uh, six hour. I slept for four, four, uh, for six four. hours. Okay. Right, very good. Yesterday I slept for six hours. Good job. Okay. Uh, one more, guys. Give me one more. Chayan run to the theater. Chayan what? Run to the theater. Run. Did. Is that in the past? Run. Yes. Is that in the past? Run. Ran, right? Chan Ren. Ring. To the theater. Is that what you want to say, theater? Yes. All right. Ren, right? Sorry, I got a name there, right? So Chan Ren to the theater, right? Okay. So, hey, actions, you know, actions that were taken care of yesterday. All right. So far, so good, guys? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna learn, guys. So you know the combination between past progressive and simple past soon. Okay. Why is it important to understand that these are finished actions? Because you know we also use guys. You know we also use simple past to talk about interrupting actions. Okay. So for example, right? For example, let's talk about past progressive now, right? So with past progressive, past progressive, all right, the structure will be subject. What else? Auxilia. I am deeper. What's where? What's the way, right? Uh, what else? Um, there, in general way, general. That's a present participle, not a German, right? But yeah, it's uh, it's a verb in ing, right? Whatever. Okay, but it's not a German, right? Because again, guys, the German uh, is worse. Uh, I do. Very good. All right, so what else? In complement. Okay, and then you have the complement, right? Complement. Okay. All right, so. <clears throat> Okay, so give me a subject, yes. What subject would you give me tonight? Okay, 
So we got to uh, loop it. All right, let's go with the Lupe again, right? We only have two people here, guys, the Lupe and Chayanne. All right, so anyways, so the Lupe what? Where? Do a Lupe where? Do we use where, guys, with singular nouns? Uh, it was. Was. No, was. Was, right? Do a Lupe was? Yes. Yeah. Talking with her. Sister. Okay, so Dua Lupe was talking with her sister, right? Okay, very good. All right, so now, guys, uh, the importance of combining your know, past progressive and simple past is this, okay? Now, tell me, guys, something that happened while Dua Lupe was talking with, you know, let's change this to two. You can say two with her sister, guys, but to her sister, right? Dua Lupe was talking to her sister. All right, so tell me something that happened while Dua Lupe was talking to her sister. Um, so then she received a phone call. Okay, so we're going to use, guys, I want you to remember this word, when. Okay, uh, when. when she received... A phone call, okay? Because you're going to notice that when will be used, guys, in combination with simple past, right? Dua Lupe was talking to her sister when she received a phone call, okay? All right? So here, guys, hey, you know, she was, she was, um, she was talking on the phone, right? So this is Lua Lupe, and she was talking on her big phone, right? Talking about, I don't know, her new album or whatever, right? With her small legs, okay? So, anyway, so she was talking on the phone, you know, but then, you know, hey, she got interrupted because she received another phone call from her other cell phone. I don't know, right? Okay, so anyways, um, all right, so what else What else can we say? Instead of saying, you know, Dua Lupe was talking to her sister, right, when the, you know, the door bell rang, right? Tell me something else that could have interrupted Dua Lupe, you guys, talking to her sister. So Dua Lupe was talking to her sister when? Mm -hmm. Nothing else, guys. There are no more words in the world. Is that it? Have we reached the potential of words in the world? It was interrupted for a, a fan. I'm sorry, what was that? The fanatico. Was interrupted... For a fan. Now was okay. Was when she was interrupted by a fan. Okay, very good. I like it. Okay, okay. I like this. Okay, so when she was interrupted, right? Now, but but here was interrupted. That's you know that's a verb B plus a past participle. Okay, let's follow. Let's keep on using the same structure. Okay. So we can say when a fan interrupted her, okay? Right? This is better. When a fan interrupted her, okay? Very good. What else, guys? What else? What else could have interrupted Dua Lipa's talking to her sister? Uh -huh. I have one, but I don't know if it is correct. All right, go ahead, Carla. Uh, when a seller. When, when what, I'm sorry? When a seller. When a seller, okay. Hold on. Okay. 
was selling um, uh, quesadillas. When a salesperson was mm -hmm. now when, remember we need simple past, right? Okay. Uh, I think it's sell. I don't know. When a salesperson sold. Uh, sold. Sorry. When a sold quesadillas. When a person sold. But but okay. When a person sold quesadillas, I mean the 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 structure is good, but um. Okay, did that interrupt her action? Mm -hmm. Maybe sold her quesadillas, right? Oh, okay. When a person sold her quesadilla, quesadillas, right? Okay, very good. All right, so we can say this now. Um, okay, guys. So, so basically, right? So what we're looking at here is that we use when, okay, combined with simple past to talk about actions that were interrupted, okay? All right, so, um, so let's go back to the presentation here. Okay, right, so anyways, okay. So, So there are some exceptions, guys, in the progressive form, okay? After this, we're going to practice, and I want you to, but, if I, but I really want you to pay attention to this, okay? So in past progressive, guys, before you continue with past progressive, all right, there are certain verbs that can only be used with simple past, okay? For example, what we call stative verbs, okay? Like this stative, past stative verbs, okay? Stative verbs guys show state, possession, senses, you know, feelings, etc. right? So, for example, guys, be, cost, feet, mean, and suit can only be used with past, uh, with simple past and not past progressive, okay? For example, uh, you cannot say my 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 T-shirt was costing a hundred dollars. Okay, so what's wrong with me saying, guys, my T-shirt was costing one hundred dollars? What do you say? What? What do you say? Oh. Repeat the question. What is the question? Uh -huh. yeah. What do you say? Uh -huh. What's wrong with me saying my t shirt was costing $100? What's wrong uh -huh. with that? The verb costing. The verb costing. Why is that wrong? You cannot use that verb with past progressive. You cannot use that verb with past progressive. Why not? Mm, because for the rule or the state. Okay, all right, because it's a stative verb, right? Very good, good job, right? So I cannot say this. So how would I say it? What would be the right way? Mm, my t-shirt cost $100. My t-shirt cost Cost more one hundred dollars. Okay, very good dollars, right? Very good. Uh, okay. Uh, it could be the same thing with my T-shirt was, you know, suiting me, right? I can't say this. Okay, my T-shirt, right, suited me. Okay, that's what you would say, right? All right, can I say, guys, um, I am having a cat. Can I say this? No. No, right? Although, guys, okay, can I say I am having a baby? Yes, you can say that, but that's because you're talking about the future. 
All right? Mm -hmm. Right? That's because you're talking about the future, right? And if you saw, you know, if you saw my stomach, right? If you hear me passes, you would say, you know, I am having a baby, right? No, I'm kidding, guys. It's actually, guys, because, you know, we're talking about the future in that sense, right? Right? Anyways, so I'm having a cat, right? Uh, I am having a cat. Cannot be used like, like, uh, you know, like belonging, okay? Right? Um, all right, so the same thing as with... Um, with with this okay can i say hey you know what i am loving i am loving you can i say this yeah i think no no guys you can't hmm. right if you hear that guys it's very informal all right but you don't say you don't tell your girlfriend you don't tell your boyfriend you know i am loving you right you say i love you right um you cannot say this in the past, right? I I was loving you. Okay? So, no, you can't. Right? You say, I love you, right? Okay? So, there's a list, guys. If you go to Google, right, and you look for stative verbs, right, you're going to find a list of verbs that you can't use, you know, with progressive tenses. Is this 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 not only applies, guys, to past progressive? Okay, this includes um, present progressive, you know, future progressive, etc. Right, right. So these are exceptions, guys, of progressive tenses. Any questions, guys, so far? All right. So going back, guys, to before we get here, going back to um to the topic that we have at hand right like interrupting actions i like you to do something guys okay i want you to talk to i uh, you're gonna talk to your partner about something that you were doing yesterday while you got interrupted okay so what happened okay so so basically the question would be right so tell me something right tell me something you were doing yesterday yesterday or last week right or last week and what interrupted that action okay so you can say for example something real right you can say oh you know what i was playing uh the best video game in the world you know free fire and and then you know uh and you can say when my right my girlfriend right called me very good all right so what's wrong with this sentence is there anything wrong with this sentence guys Yes. Nobody's going to believe you have a girlfriend if you play Free Fire. No, but aside from that, guess right? There is nothing wrong with the sentence, right? There is no grammar mistake whatsoever, right? It's just don't play Free Fire. All right, anyways. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. Play it, right? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Just, you know, stop coming to the class. No, I'm kidding, right? Keep playing. All right, so anyways, so... <laughs> <laughs> so i'm totally kidding guys let's go ahead guys and practice okay so all right so tell me something you were doing yesterday or last week all right and what interrupted that action okay if you forget guys the question please write it down so for example giselle says i was eating when my cats ran over me okay uh okay all right you can say that, all right? So anyways, all right, let's uh, get together, guys, and let's start practicing. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's join the breakout sessions, guys. All right.
right, ladies, let's go. Thank you, thank you. What did you do yesterday? Um, well, yesterday I was searching for my clothes that I use now, didn't use uh, this day when my friends, uh, when my friend uh, write me. When my friend. Eh, right, right, uh, road, sería, ¿verdad? Right. Yes. Wrote. Wrote. When my friend wrote me. Uh -huh. or wrote to me, right? I wrote. wrote. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Continue, continue. Thank you. And you, Giselle, what did you do yesterday? Um, take, taking my mom to the hospital. When... I was interrupted for my class, <laughs> the English class. <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have another class in the one at one to four. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good. It's good. This sentences. Hi, man. Hello, hi, man. I'm sending you to um to different rooms so you can practice. I only, I I only I I can only think about my my job, <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking like um I was um doing an interview when um I received a call from my boss maybe because I received that interrupt my interrupt my action in that moment. I think that interrupt, okay. interrupted. Interrupted. Yes. Thanks. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It 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 will be okay if I said I was sleeping when suddenly my alarm wake me up. When suddenly my alarm wake me up is that in the past? Woke wake me, me up. up. Woke, woke me, me up. up. Woke. woke me up yes woke me up yes woke me up how do you up. write that w-o-k-e w-o-k-e -E. when suddenly my alarm woke, woke me up me. Woke. 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 woke 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 like woke no woke woke Yes, woke me up. Woke me up. Woke me up. Yes, oh. yes, yes. All right. Well, that's true. I was sleeping and, and suddenly okay. your alarm woke you up. All right, all right. Very good, very good. Whatever happens to these guys. Right, continue, girls. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm trying to get you into a different room so you can start practicing. Hey, Carla. I'm, I'm sorry, Carla. Uh, weren't you practicing with anyone just now? Did they leave you alone here? Let me get you into a different room, okay? All right. Let's go. Nope. Nope. There's nobody here. I'm going to get you to a different room. Hold on. Okay. Okay. No worry. All right. Hold on. Carlita. All right. Let's decide. I think that one's good. When my girlfriend called me. Okay.
somos tres. Sí, no me, falta visto, una, me falta una, amigo. Me falta una. No, no había visto a Carla. Ah, Carla. Hola. No, 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 me, Carla. Le estábamos dando No, no, me acaba de meter. Ah, ok. Ah, okay sí. Ok. Teacher okay. no nos avisa. No. That's, that's okay, right? I was making sure that you were paying attention. So, okay. thank you, teacher. Okay, hey, thank you. Right. Yes. Did you finish? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, only, only you. Oh, okay. And yesterday I was swimming in the swimming pool, and an old guy interrupted me, uh, talking to me about about the news of the last night. Okay, excellent. Next. And just that. How many we have to do? Uh, just two. one? We said uh, two. Two? Yeah. Okay. Um, yesterday, I was reading in my, in my room. And my cat was in my cat interrupt me. Okay. Uh -huh. I read my sentences, Carla. Um, I was here when my mom visited me. And, uh, next. What? I was writing my report when my uh, I was writing. writing. Ah. Uh, TV, ¿eh? Yes. Mátale. No creo que se le con. Espera, quiero ver. Writing my sí, con doble T. Okay. My my what? My reports. Yes, when well. my boss called me. To a meeting, we'll put him. No. Así. Sería, cold, sería con ED. Así es. What's up, guys? All good? Yes, we finished. Yes, we finished it. All right. All right. Well, continue, continue practicing, guys, because uh, I'm still checking on the other guys, okay? I'll be right oh, okay. back. Okay. Right. Okay. Yesterday, I, yesterday I was I shopping was, mm -hmm. in the supermarket. Supermarket. When I love, I forgot my I forgot my wallet. So look, forgot. It's, it's forgotten of forgot. Forgot. Una T. Mm -hmm. In the supermarket when I forgot my wallet. ¿Cómo se dice cuando lo noté? When I notice. I notice. ¿Cómo fue? Cuando noté que me olvidé mi cartera. I noticed. Notice. Thank you. Noticed. I noticed. Y te va. That's right. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. All right, guys. All right. Good practice. Good, 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 good practice. All right. So do me a favor, guys, and I want everybody to give me at least one of the sentences. 
All right, one of the sentences of interrupted actions that you had, okay? And why do we have less people, guys, than before? What happened to everybody else? I have no idea, but we're missing. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. All right, so we <laughs> they were, go to sleep? We were like, yeah, they were like, okay, race for practice time, let's go to sleep. They <laughs> are in the other dimension. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I think well it's it's Thursday guys and we're still by the way guys by the way before we forget I forget we are going to have a class tomorrow too okay all right so tomorrow yes we okay. do have a class all right we have a class tomorrow and so next week next week we are not gonna have a class uh, on 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 Friday all right and then the week afterwards we're gonna have a class until when until until Tuesday, I think. All right. So just keep that in mind, okay? So, anyways, guys. So, um, so let's talk about. All right. So, so give me, guys. All right. Before we move on, all right. Give me uh, one of your examples, okay? Everybody, give me one of your examples. So, Carla, what would be your example using when? Okay. Um. Uh, when I was swimming yesterday in the pool, uh, an old guy interrupted me, interrupt me, talked to me about the news of the last night. Okay. All right. So when I was, while I was swimming, a guy interrupted me? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Talk but to how... me about the news about the last night. Okay, hold on. Let's correct that. Okay, I'm I'm not okay understanding everything. Okay, can you say that that sentence to me again, please? Okay. And uh, when I was swimming yesterday. Mm -hmm. A old guy interrupt me. You say a old, okay? A yes. old guy interrupted interrupt me. me. Talk. And then talk. Talk about very fast. Talk. Talked. To me about the news of the last night. But the news of the last night, okay? All right, there are there are there are quite a few things that we need to create here, okay? Okay. When I, when I was swimming yesterday is fine. But let's get rid of when I was swimming yesterday. All right. And then when all right, this article should be an not a. It's an right okay. because we are we we're using a uh, a vowel sound afterwards. Mm -hmm. When an old guy right talk to me about the news from last night. Okay, I was swimming yesterday okay. when an old guy talked to me about the news from last night. We know that this interrupted you, right? We know that, like when mm -hmm. you say. Uh, when you talked in the past like that, right? Yeah, we know. Okay, so yes, he interrupted you, right? By talking uh -huh. to you about the news, right? So th this would be the better way of saying that, okay? I was okay. yesterday Thank when you. an old guy talked to me about the news from last night. Okay, good job. Okay. And actually, and actually not even like this. Okay, when, you, when an old guy started to talk to me, that's way better, mm. right? Very okay. good. Thank you. All right. You're welcome, Carla. All right. Uh, Jennifer, what do you have? Jennifer? What do we got? The same one. <laughs> I was sleeping when suddenly my alarm woke me up. Oh, okay. But what? What other examples? What were like when you were practicing? All right. Do you have like more <laughs> we examples? We start about other things. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. 
Give me, give me one. Like, tell me something that you were doing yesterday, and you know, and then something interrupted that action. What would be your example? So you can say, well, let's I, let's just if that's the only one you have, right? I was sleeping when my alarm woke me up, right? Woke me up, right? Very good. Let's use this one, but uh, we were supposed to be practicing more examples, right? Like way more examples. Uh, okay. So is this the is this the only one that you have so far, Jennifer? It's okay. If this is the only one you have, that's okay, right? All right. I'll take that silence and say yes. All right. That no worries. All right, Alexander. What is your um? Well, tell me your example. Okay. I was drinking coffee. <laughs> you were so, you, you you were like I was drinking coffee. Coffee. Uh huh. I thought that <laughs> it sounded like you you were you were gonna talk about alcohol and then you regretted it. <laughs> yeah. So I was drinking right. I was drinking coffee. Okay. Right? Coffee. Um. Uh... When suddenly my <laughs> when suddenly my coworker my coworker ask asked me asked me huh uh, uh some beverage what beverage or uh, asked me some beverages. Yes, I, I mean, yes, at this context, because I work, I am working in a cafeteria, cafeteria so it's, uh -huh, it's a daily routine. <laughs> so you're, maybe you wanted to say, you cannot say, ask me some beverages. Yeah, yes, no. because I, oh, oh what is that? Ask is to question something. Like, I ask you a question. You cannot ask a beverage. You can request mm -hmm. a beverage. You can ask for a beverage. So how, right? how can I say, pedir, como orden? But it's not, you, it's just that there's, you cannot translate that, right? Uh -huh. uh, you can order, right? Order, very good. That, that would uh -huh. be a good one, right? Ordered me some beverages. Yes. Okay, I was drinking coffee when suddenly my coworker ordered me some beverages. Okay. That is the right way of saying this. Order. Uh, okay. Me. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good, man. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. You are welcome. Okay. Uh then we have Mr. Noah. No, what is your example, Noah? My example, uh, example is my kids. My kids were playing football. Football when my uh, kids were playing what? Uh, soccer. Soccer. Uh huh. Soccer when they got it. When they what? Got it. Got it. Se golpearon. When they got hurt. I, uh huh. Got hurt. Yes. Okay. When they got hurt okay very good all right good job uh natalie what do you have natalie um i was advising on english platform when my cat uh, ran over me i was what i'm sorry advising what is that um avanzar. So avanzando. i i was advancing you mean the advancing? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you um, want to. Uh, okay, I was making some. Now, guys, you should uh, I do not translate. Okay, I was advancing. That's not exist. Okay, you can say I was working. Okay, on the platform. So I was working on the platform. When my cat ran over me. When my cat run. Or run. Ran? Run. Ran. Run. No, ran. Run. No, you're saying run. It's ran. 
Run. And also, guys, ran over is atropellar. Is that what you want to say? That your cat ran over you? That. Uh huh. Um. I don't know. Over me. Okay, I was working on the platform when my car when my cat ran over me. Okay, I mean, it is grammatically correct, but um, yeah, run over guys is to atropellar. Right, a car can run over you. Right, I got run. I I got. You can say I got run over. Right, me atropellaron. Right. Very good. Okay, good job. I right. uh, Claudia, what do you have, Claudia? Thank you, Natalie. Yeah. Um. I was watching TikTok when my mom called me to do to. To make the dinner. When my mom called Cold. me to make dinner, okay? Dinner. All right, very good. Good job. All right, good job, Claudia. All right. Uh, Giselle, what do you have, Giselle? Um, I was searching my class. I was to... searching for my what? My... Clothes, um, ropa. For my for, clothes, yes. like this. Yes. For uh -huh. today, when my friend wrote to me. Today, when my friend wrote to me. Wrote. You want to say send me a message? Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Juan Linares, what do we have? One. Uh, I was playing soccer with my friends when my mother called me. All right. So, okay. So we have, I was playing soccer with my, with my friends when my mom called me like this. Yes. All right. Okay. Very good. We're going to leave it here because I don't see anybody else in the class case. All right. All right. So there you go, guys. Okay. That is, you know, one of the usages. So tomorrow, guys, tomorrow we're going to continue with, um, with you know, with the rest of this topic. Okay. Come, guys, because this is, this is very important. I didn't know this, but we actually have a lot to work on this topic. Okay. Almost everybody, guys, made a mistake. More than one mistake here. All right, so we need to work on our past tenses, okay? I will still help you with the platform, guys. Guys, I see, I give you, well, I know that you guys are very responsible, right? All people here come to class, right? And and that's great, right? But remember that we solve the exercises in the platform, okay? All right, so if you do not come to class and then you're asking, hey, uh, ayúdame con eso, right? Guys, para eso se viene la clase. Para eso están grabadas las clases también, right? Porque aquí lo hacemos, okay? Got it? All right. Okay. So oh, you guys are fine, right? Everybody here is fine, right? But I have all the people, like people who have not come, right? And they're always asking about the answers, which is okay. Help them, right? Uh, just know, right, that I cannot, if you do not come to class, right? which is where we see the answers, okay? We, we, I mean, I'm more than glad to give you the answers here in the class, okay? All right, very good. Any questions, guys? Any request? Any regret? <laughs> Coming to this class at this hour now. All right, are we good? All right, so guys, uh, yeah. th thank you very much, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Please rest, okay? Because we're all very tired yes. tonight. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.